Deforestation is certainly not a new problem we are faced with here on Earth. Since man first walked the planet, we have been steadily harvesting the forests. And as our numbers grew and our inventiveness became more technologically advanced, the need for wood-based products simply kept on expanding. In an effort to curb the uncontrolled logging which was fast causing the permanent destruction of the planet's natural forests, the Forest Stewardship Council was formed in 1993. Ever since, this organization has been striving to ensure that the entire forestry industry is environmentally appropriate, socially beneficial and economically viable. Currently, FEC is one of the biggest forestry certification systems and the only one claiming full backing from the big environmental NGOs like Greenpeace and WWF. Over the past two decades, the timber and related consumer industries have become a lot more biased towards FEC accreditation. And having their official stamp of approval means more public credibility for your product and so creates access to otherwise closed global markets. It's a market-based certification scheme and it, it is actually comes out of the product, product label. So timber or timber products have this FSC stamp on it, it's a product label and it's an assurance to the public that they are buying a product that comes from timber that was grown or produced or harvested and managed in a responsible way. And today, two decades after the FEC was founded, more and more people are demanding their blessing before they will touch your wood. In this country, people aren't very aware. In Europe, there's, in certain countries, I mean, in Holland, everybody knows about FEC. In Britain, it's, it's all over the place. Even when you buy a train ticket, there's a little stamp saying the piece of paper is FEC certified. So, Internationally, there is growing awareness of FSE. The demand from the man on the street has spiraled upwards. And today, many of the big retailers in timber and related products insist on FSE certified products. This means that if SAPI wants to maintain or increase their share of the market, they have to have FSE certification. It now pr provides assurance to, to the buyers of of some of our main products, I know chemical cellulose, we, we don't label it as FSC, but when, when we talk to our buyers and, and you know the big consumers of, of that product, we do tell them it's FSC and they get a lot of assurance that at least it's, it's being managed properly, being produced from responsibly managed plantations. So there is a marketing side that it has become important to, to SAPI, we do, we do claim. FSC certification on, on all our products, um, so it, you know, it's access to markets actually that, that, that drives FSC now. But getting this stamp of approval through forest stewardship certification is not simply a case of submitting a couple of forms and paying an annual membership fee. FSC comes out with 10 principles and a whole lot of criteria and it says first of all you've got to be legal. So if, if you're a company and you've got a concession in the Congo Basin, you've got to follow all the, the laws. Um, other principles are around social issues. Um, you've got to deal with the people that live there properly. You've got to deal with your workers properly. Safety and all those kind of things must be in place. Then there are a number of principles that look at environmental impact and environmental management. Um, there's also principles looking at conservation, so they say that you must set aside high conservation value areas and areas that are not being harvested must be managed properly. The roads you build, the methods you use must be minimal impact. And they don't want things like chemicals or aliens or other things being introduced into these forests. So it's, it's, a, whole, it's a whole suite of, of principles that kind of um, try and make forestry sustainable. The difficulty with FSC is adapting these generic international principles and standards that were created to save indigenous natural forests in the first place to suit agricultural plantations. For instance, one of the criteria is this idea that we should try and reduce and avoid use of chemicals. 
Now, in an agricultural type of, of uh, forestry, so plantation forestry, we know that sometimes it is better to use some fertilizer, or we definitely need chemicals to control alien plants. Um, it, we, when you have pest outbreaks, because it's a crop, you might need chemicals to control these. And so you start getting conflicts with the, the principles and, and the, the idea that, that FSC stands for. I mean, we'd all like to not use chemicals, but when it comes to plantation forestry, you've got to make the most sound decision. You've got to balance the, 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 the costs and benefits of, of certain actions. And some of, the, some of the things that FSC don't want to happen are actually better to happen in, in plantation forestry. And that is exactly where the devil is, in the detail. It's a nice to have to only use one set of rules, but it is making life more difficult for the plantation forestry companies. And remember, FSC membership is voluntary and there will always be unscrupulous buyers of uncertified timber out there somewhere. The real problem is that certain companies opt out and they say, well, you know, we can't meet those standards, so none of those issues apply, and so they can carry on as normal. And what's happening in, in the world's forest still is it's the guys, the big companies, the, the, the people that are not certified are, are still um, going in and doing practices that we wouldn't agree with, that, that are actually uh, destroying or degrading the, the world's forests. Only history will tell whether the FSC eventually succeeded in their original goal, to save the natural forests. But in the meantime, a commercial timber company like SAPI must answer some questions for themselves. Is certification worth all the trouble it means to get it? Or is there a better way to get the message out that you are indeed living up to those same principles? But that is next time's story, when we look at the thing about certification. Mm -hmm.